What's up my people? Back on the sand lot project. Uh, just gonna stone, culture stone the front of this house. Put installing the wire lath. This morning, there is a little technique to this. When you install a wire lath, rub your hand up it. And if it's rough, that's the face that goes out. If the other side will be smooth when you do that. So the object is all these are cupped. So when you go to plaster this up, it holds the cement this way and always lets it grab it. These are all cut. So when you go like this, if it's rough, like a cheese grater, that is the way you want it. We nail it in with roofing nails. We do not need this green zip board is a vapor barrier. Uh, it is designed not to have any type of tar paper or Tyvek behind here. Otherwise you will have a double vapor barrier and cause issues. So as long as everything's taped, this is how you install this. Corners, just massage them across. Nail on this side first, and then you bend and nail on this side. So you're just gonna massage this corner over like so. Hit it right in. Angle your nails out towards the inside of the corner like that. It will help you big time. I nail straight up and down. Don't go across because you'll get bubbles. Once you get to this inside corner, work it. So once you get your corner nailed here, don't nail on this side. Take the chisel. Whack it in. Then finish nailing this side and then that side. And that's nice and tight. Bada boom, bada bang. So once you get that nailed, come to your nail right here. We use a seven inch grinder. You can use any grinder better than snips, quick and easy. Finish nailing right here and you're done on site gonna start parging this got Colin mixing up the mortar make that uh, oatmeal slash peanut butter mix in between that consistency started doing this with the little trials just got to be uh, tight and tedious not to get it up on your face yet. just cover your stuff because it does get messy all right all I do is got a bucket of mud here I grab a trowel slap it here boom run it up Quickest, fastest way. Put the trowel there, run it up. Slap it, run it up. Keep going. Keep it going. Once you get this plastered, you just hit it with a broom and it gives you the texture you need. Like that. All grippy so when you put the cement on there or the, the stone on there, it sucks out and goes into there. Corners can be tricky. Just take your corner here, pull it to you, and then pull it away from you. And that will get your corner all parged up, like so. When you get to a spot with the window, you can set this up here, put your mud in there like so, bring it up with the trowel, right up and under it. Then you can meet meet the whole thing married together done like so
All right, that's one house wire lath and parged broom finish to give us the texture you want to get this stone to adhere. Um, the rough here, you put your cement on here, it sucks the moisture out of here and sucks it into there and she holds. So this is a field stone, uh, field stone cultured stone right here. The name of it is, let's see here. Well, let's get a good one. It just says Fieldstone Easton. It's made by Ply Gem. Fieldstone Easton. Easton probably is the color. Um, so that's what I could tell you on there. We're going to use corners on the corners. And uh, we're just going to a little clean up here and we're good to go. We'll be back to stone it. This is just a filler job. It's in between days. And uh, tomorrow's supposed to get rain. So maybe we'll go under here and start stoning that. But that's going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, wire lath and plaster. Hope you got something out of it. You guys want to see this stone? Catch us on the next one. Thanks.